career mode and this time I thought we think talk about youth academy uh, we're going to only have one scout to, uh, to begin with Mauro Neri uh, because scouting in FC is our overpower so I think with only one scout it will be good enough and uh, there is the new thing new tournaments uh, I will probably not show it because have you played one? You have played them all. There's no difference. So, but it's a good addition, and it helps uh, growing the players, and that we do like. And for the youth academy players, we are trying to mold them into their roles. We are using our tactics, and the brightest star right now we have uh, is Carlo Rizzo, shadow striker. I'm really excited to see. Uh, he could be uh, one of our future stars, maybe. Uh, he's 17 years old, so maybe in the end of the season we will bring him up to the team and see what we do. Uh, other than that, we'll see what we get. We would like to have a few good uh, prospects going because uh, for economy, it's quite good. Uh, so, I'm mean, interested to see this new youth academy way to do it uh, with youth tournaments and what that is my plan when it comes to Youth Academy, at least this season. We simply have to focus on this man. Three goals in his last three matches, and you can't argue with that sort of form. We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us on this very snowy day. It's been falling for quite some time, and it continues. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football, and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4-3-3 formation. So they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1, so it's going to be interesting to see what's expected of the wing-backs here. Are they going to be high up the field or drop deeper to make a back five? Only time will tell. There to win it back. to take on the shot oh that's top-notch goalkeeping you've got to say a oh, good technique in terms of how he struck it now a decent position Oh, what an opportunity! 
And expertly snuffing out the danger. Well, showing his class there. He gets his angles absolutely spot on. But he's gone short with it. Could be dangerous. Chopping it back. A smart stop here. Gennaro Tutino. Could be threatening. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. So that will be all. The first 45 minutes have come and gone. A keenly contested first half. What did you make of the home side, Stuart? Well, we discussed their lack of goals at the start of the game, and nothing has changed my opinion during that first half. They just lack invention in their forward play. The only saving grace at the moment is their defending, which has been really good. He's driven in the corner. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Time for a change then. Completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Might work out. That's a good-looking pass. Not too easily, the keeper. And that will be all for this game anyway. No goals to report. Defences on top. And Stuart, as ever, interested to get your take. Well, Derek, I think it was a good tactical battle. There was a lot of endeavour, some good defending, but not enough attacking quality, and that's why we didn't get any goals. Yeah. I agree, uh, no, not good enough attacking uh, quality to this game, I mean, zero, zero says all. I mean, it could probably be a goal for Reggiano or for us, but it was a, clearly a zero, zero game. No, no, of the, nobody of the teams really emerged this game. Yeah, we're still having some problem with scoring, and, uh, but I do like it. Uh, shouldn't be easier. I don't think our squad is super, super squad, so it makes sense. Days of anticipation have led up to this, an occasion worthy of a packed stadium. Don't miss a second. Stay with us for every minute of the action. Hello, and thanks for joining us live here on EA TV. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by former England striker Sue Smith on the commentary gantry. And we've got action coming up from Seri BKT. It's Sampdoria, and they face Salernitana. Thanks, Guy. Well, I can't wait for this one. Both sets of fans are certainly up for it. I'm sure that that'll give the players a real boost. They'll be hoping to start the game at a fast tempo. Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. Yeah, it's a 3-4-2-1, and this is quite a narrow formation, so it's key that the two wing-backs provide the width. The front three, I'm sure they'll combine and attack, and maybe another midfielder join in as well. Here's how Salernitana line up. Yeah, it looks like a 4-3-3, and I think in midfield they'll have one deeper and the other two a little bit further forward. But they also have that option to have the two deeper lion midfielders if they do start to get overrun.
and he's being urged to shoot. Well, he went for it on demand and didn't miss by much. Well, he had to take it on, didn't he? The fans certainly encouraged him to do so. It wasn't that far away. Not a bad technique either. They are sitting a bit too deep here. Trying his luck. Picks out a teammate. Very well kept out, alert and ready. Promising position, this. Chance for the lead. And that's more than comfortable for the man in goal. And the pass is incomplete, nicely won. Crowd encouraging him to take it on. The goalkeeper more than ready for it. This for the lead. And that whistle brings the first half to a close. Opportunity that was. Oh, it should be one nil up, guy. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. Real opportunity. Daniele Verde. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. That's set to put them ahead. Oh, well saved. That was a really good chance. Now it needs a good ball in. Different angle of attack. And a really good bit of goalkeeping to keep that out. Genuine chance. It might still happen. It's cleared. And they can breathe easier. Oh, and a good save to keep it level. What a stop from the keeper. He does so well at this stage of the game, too. Excellent work. Here it comes. Only half the job done there. But nothing doing with that effort. Nah, it's not a bad attempt, that. Struck it well, but the keeper shifted his feet quickly and would have saved it, I'm sure. Oh, good defending, just when it was looking threatening. So that's it, it's ended goalless, which always feels like a bit of a shame. Your thoughts, Sue, on the game overall? Yeah, it was disappointed in the end. You can't fault the effort or the endeavour of both sides, but they just lacked that little bit of quality in the final third. I did think we'd get a few goals today as well. Zero, zero game? <laughs> Not really. I... I mean, we should have won this game by 3 nothing, 4 nothing. We were so much better than Salernitana, but we can't score goals. We had so many chances this game. Unbelievable that we didn't win this game. And I think this is going to bite us in the back at the end of the season if we don't win games like this. We need to start scoring. Come on, boys. What an intriguing prospect. A game of high profile featuring two magnificent sides fully prepared for this massive occasion and fully prepared to make this their big showcase. Stay with us on EA TV. Hello and welcome. And I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football, and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch.
lineup then for the hosts. Well, as you can see, it's a fairly narrow midfield, so it does mean that the fullbacks need to break forward at the right time. But it's the number 10 who really has to affect the game today. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1, so it's going to be interesting to see what's expected of the wing-backs here. Are they going to be high up the field or drop deeper to make a back five? Only time will tell. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, not cleared away completely. And I think the threat has been averted. That's effective pressure high up the pitch. Hands away by the keeper. Interested to know how you see this game going for them today. Well, the fans weren't overly impressed with that bonus draw. Today, though, if they play with a bit more purpose from the start, I think they'll win this one. And playing it through. He's managed to get in behind and expertly snuffing out the danger. Well, showing his class there, he gets his angles absolutely spot on. Alessio Vita. Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? Can he take advantage? Showing the importance of wins. Opportunity. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Goalkeeping, you've got to say. The first half here comes to an end. It looks promising. A glorious chance. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Delivering it. And it's in! 1 0. They breach the defense. Good example of pressing without the ball. Okay, the situation has changed, I'm hearing, in the Sassuolo game, and that means we join Alex Scott for an update. Yeah, it's a goal for Sassuolo. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved, and once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. The score's level again now at 1-1. Must be! Oh, couldn't pull them level. Well, they certainly should be level. That was a great opportunity to score. That's a good-looking ball. Might work out. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Now sending it in. And a harmless effort when all is said and done. Well, this could really help the cause. Chance to finish. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage.
and playing it through. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Gennaro Tutino. There's still time for them to level it. This could level it. Oh, a challenge that simply had to be won. And that will be all for this game anyway. And defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding. I give credit to Citadella. I mean, this was the first game this season, Serie B, that I actually felt that we, we should lose with much more than one nothing. They were much better. I mean, Silvestri in the goal was great and really saved us and gave us a chance this game. But wow, they were good. Credit to them. And if we take a look at the Serie B, where are we? We are seven. We have reached the half past of the league, and yeah, it's not looking good. Seven points away. And talking about Silvestri, we have extended his contract to one more year. I think he has been solid. So good to know that we have a goalkeeper for next season also.